Welcome back, Duffy Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of casual gamers in love that love doing some gameplay trailer reactions together. Casual gamers. Yeah, casual gamers. You know, we keep it light, we keep it fun. And uh, one of the games on my bucket list is Witcher 3. Um, so I've heard a lot about Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, as some like, you know, of the kind of the must play games, and that a lot of people that have, have played it have said, described how amazing it was and how, you know, some people said life-changing and, you know, like, someone's talking about how Witcher 3 helped them through, like, a really bad time in their lives. And so, you know, I mean, that, that, that's really amazing when a game can do that. And it's really impressive. And we've watched a lot of Witcher 3 trailers. And we're going to watch a gameplay trailer now to kind of see that gameplay. I have to say, after seeing the thumbnail for the trailer that we are about to watch, I have some burning questions about how this game helped someone through a bad time. <laughs> like, she's eating something bloody. I just want to know how that translates to helping someone through a bad time. No oh. judgment. I'm just dying to know. I wish I had uh, this recording right now when she was first saw the thumbnail. Because like, we were setting up for it and she saw the thumbnail and she go, oh my god. <laughs> She couldn't believe it. She, like, for, like, you know, 10, 15 seconds, she was pretty much in shock. Yeah, I mean, like, she's just, there's so much blood. <laughs> All right. Rated M. And immature. Blood and gore. There we go. <laughs> M immature. That's pretty. I can see that helping you do, like, a bad At time. CD Projekt Red, it has always been our goal to take you on adventures both legendary and grounded in reality. To tell you stories where breathtaking magic, okay. fantastic creatures, and age-old prophecies are interwoven with religious fanaticism, war crimes, even racism. See her ears, she elf. It's this very vision that we've realized in our most ambitious project to date. The open world of the Witcher Wild Hunt. Okay, that looks intense. Oh, cool. Welcome mm -hmm. travel. Drink with me, you cocksucker. The northern <laughs> realms span a vast okay. continent filled with remote outposts, quaint villages, and bustling cities of astonishing wealth. Varied landscapes will see you riding into mountain valleys, sailing the open seas, Ooh. and exploring yeah. forgotten temples. That was great. Ooh. However, this land is brimming with conflict. Racial hatred often erupts into violence and war between the mighty has driven people from their homes. But one really? plague runs rampant. Monsters. They haunt the countryside, oh, breed in great. city sewers, and rule the wilderness, feasting on merchant caravans. <laughs> That's where you come in. Oh, oh my God. Ah, the Witcher. Should have expected as much. You'll play as a Witcher, a monster slayer for hire, mm. mutated to have superhuman abilities. People might think you're a freak, <laughs> but everyone can use the help of a professional. Murder, Chloe. Vampire. Is it 1358? Yeah. Stab him. No. Then fuck off. <laughs> we put a lot of effort into seamlessly blending gameplay with the surrounding environment. Oh. Monster behavior and tactics change depending on the time of day or terrain. That's awesome. It's these shifting circumstances that will often determine if you are hunter or prey. Oh, wow. Clear an area of monsters, and you'll witness people settling in, transforming dangerous areas into sprawling hubs where you can buy and sell gear. Hundreds of armor and weapon upgrades await you, but it's the way you fight that makes like all the, the difference. Like, Invest in sword skills to develop special moves. Level oh, up your alchemy skills bad. and gather rare herbs to create potions and bombs. Or master the arcana of magic signs and annihilate your foes with a twist of your fingers. Oh, wow. I love building up magic teams. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. In the Witcher Wild Hunt, you take on the greatest contract of your life to track down the Child of Prophecy, a living weapon that can alter the shape of the world. And if you find her, the girl will die. <laughs> you might be a killer for hire, 
Lucius, you decide what kind of man you are. I'm gonna say who you are. Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Just try it. <laughs> Indulge your human side. How about I buy everybody around? Bottoms up. Ah, come on, Or choose the path of a ruthless outcast, adhering to your own brand of Back justice. Off yep. Go away, or I'll kill you. And watch the world burn. Uh, ah. Ah. Whoever you are, in the Northern Realms, you'll find what you're looking for. Whether it's horse racing, getting drunk, following your heart, <laughs> or just satisfying your passion. Playing cards, okay. brawling, <laughs> discovering places of power, hunting treasure, or joining in ancient rituals. There you go. Forge your own adventure in the most realistic fantasy of our times. Welcome to the Witcher Wild Hunt. So this is going to be a uh, remastered version, apparently coming out hopefully this year. They said fall of 2021. Um, I don't know if things got delayed with the pandemic and whatnot, but uh, the, so kind of waiting for the remastered version to to come out. Um, but what do you think? I'm so excited. Like this, uh, it feels like a cross between Assassin's Creed and almost like Resident Evil, <laughs> where I'm like, I'm I'm so all about that. That is so cool. Yeah. I, I, I love that, uh, you know, different choices you make can kind of like shape the world as to who you are and the different times of day. Uh, it reminds me of this, uh, of a, the uh, Dying Light um, trailer that we saw where like at night, like things, the zombies get all crazy all and right. you know, during the day it's a little yeah. bit differently. I'm really excited about this and I'm really like, this is the first taste of the gameplay that we saw. So I've just kind of been hearing about what this world is like and seeing it for the first time. Definitely, definitely hooked. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's so much to dive into. The the human-to-human -human interactions, the human-to-monster mm -hmm. interactions, the the different challenges. I mean, like, you can just do horse racing in this <laughs> amazing building. I mean, like, that is just, to me, amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I can see how you could just spend hours upon our hundreds of hours just playing this game. Um, this is the kind of game that when they talk about virtual reality and that being the new phase of gaming and everything, mm -hmm. I think of, like, oh, God, help us if, like, games like this become virtual reality because... Yes, it's wonderful, and God, I would love to explore it, but also at the same time, I don't think I'd ever leave it, and that's the problem. <laughs> you said that with Avatar, too. I think you just want to escape reality. You want to escape me in this in this, in this this wonderful world we live in. I don't want to escape you. I want to bring you with me, but, like, I escape into books and movies and TV yeah. shows, so, like, if I could escape into a virtual reality game, I mean, like, think about it. It is if dangerous. If you could fall into this world... Ah, why? Why come back to the reality of like work and paying bills and everything yeah. else that goes with life? You know, because if you're still, you still gotta pay bills so you can you know keep playing that game. Yeah, that's, that's why. True. So, you can, so you can pay off the virtual reality. <laughs> Um, you know, so let us know um, what you think about Witcher Three. I'm sure you know everyone's gonna say that they love it because. How could you not love this game? Everyone it's awesome. seems to love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and more suggestions for different trailers to react to for Witcher Three. Uh, somebody had recommended a triple trailer. Tuesday, which uh, reaction for Witcher Three? Um, and we love, you know, everyone's uh, people are doing that, and that's catching on. That's really great. Um, if you're new to the channel, Triple Trailer Tuesday, we watch uh, three trailers. Uh, right now, it's just from the same game. You know, we might switch it up. Maybe three trailers from a different game. Who knows? We could we're, get wild. We're crazy like that. We are crazy. <laughs> and just keep in mind that our reaction to Witcher Three Wild Hunt official gameplay trailer is definitely not definitive.